Hi, this is Bruce at FighterKiteCentral.com and I've been over the years interested in and really admired many of the kites that I've seen, fighter kites, that use paper for their kite skin. Those kites fly beautifully well. They only have one drawback from my perspective and that is their durability, especially in wet, foggy, misty weather. The paper absorbs the water and weakens and easily tears or is destroyed, depending on how bad the, the water is. So I have used in the past uh, spray lacquer, which is the automotive lacquer and a spray can that I spray on paper, but the paper becomes very brittle. It doesn't break, but it's a very, very uh, stiff, stiff result. It does add waterproof strength to the paper though. But the other day I was thinking about other ways to do it. And of course a waterproof hairspray is one that works reasonably well. But I uh, applied this. This is a Johnson Wax product that's called Future. It's called an acrylic floor finish. And I applied that to some paper. I started with this piece of wrapping paper that I had already cut out as a small kite skin. And I don't know if you can see it on this video, but boy, it has a really nice sheen to the surface. And if you drop, if I drop a piece of, uh, or a drop of water on it, the water actually just beads up. I'm not sure if you can see this or not on the video, but the water drops just beat up on the skin. They don't soak into the paper. And uh, this floor finish is a very, very thin uh, after it dries. It's very thin. doesn't add much weight to the kite uh, skin, to the paper. But it, uh, it does add waterproofness. And to some degree, a little bit of stiffness as well. There is an added stiffness and you can hear the, the wrinkly sound. I uh, also did this piece of uh, madras paper that uh, Carl sent me. Treated it the same way. And you can hear its sound and then you can hear the sound, I hope anyway, of an untreated piece of madras tissue. This is, uh, madras is a tissue that's inherently quite strong. It's just a little thicker than a uh, standard tissue paper you'd buy for uh, gift wrapping. But adding the uh, floor finish to it adds a slight sheen, not as much as on the uh, gift wrap. Adds a little bit of stiffness, but not bad. And uh, the way I did it was simply I took a plastic cup, poured some of this in it, and then I brushed it on the paper with a foam brush. Very simple, very quick. I did it on my glass uh, work table here, but whatever you do it on, be sure you have something underneath the paper you're applying the floor finish to because it soaks through the paper and it's sticky. It will if you use newspaper underneath, the print of the newspaper will probably be on the back side of the paper that you're applying the floor finish to. So on a counter surface or something smooth that has, uh, that's easy to wipe up afterwards would be what I'd suggest. And then I just hang the paper with a couple of clothes pins uh, to dry. And it dries in about 15 or 20 minutes. And it's really much much more water resistant than paper without it. Now I thought about applying this technique to kites that are already made that have pipe paper skin. But if you do that, especially on a kite that has a tensioned bow like a diamond shaped kite, you'd have to be sure that you had some way of holding that tension. Because when this uh, floor finish is applied, the paper gets saturated with it quickly and it weakens the paper and the tension of the bow would certainly tear it if it weren't uh, contained in some other way. 
So if you do that, be sure you use something to hold the tension in the bow and not have the tension supplied by the skin of the paper, uh, paper skin of the kite. So anyway, I thought I'd share that with you, and if you like working with paper or like paper kites like I do, this might add some uh, variety and expand the use of paper in kites uh, without adding much negative in the way of characteristics in flight or in uh, the weight of the paper itself.